Okay, I was not expecting that many questions. But let's go ahead and get started on them. What's your favorite game? I don't have a single favorite. I'd say it's a toss-up between the Dot .hack games, Gungrave, Katamari Damacy, Okami, Super Metroid, and A Link to the Past. A lot of them there. Of course, there's Bunny Must Die and Noitu Love 2 as well. What has been your favorite Let's Play so far? Probably Bunny Must Die, but I love the viewer participation in Katamari Damacy. What's your favorite game genre? Metroidvania. I love exploration adventure games. What's your favorite Zelda game and why? A Link to the Past with a Karna of Time at a close second. They just have that open world feel to them and don't string you along. What's your favorite Pokemon? It's a toss up between Scizor, Gardevoir, and Miss Magius. What's your favorite game console? Probably Super Nintendo. What's your favorite game character? Natsume or Kite from the Dot Hack games, and Laharl from Disgaea. Now that I think about it, most games I like have a mostly silent protagonist, so that doesn't really count. What are your favorite game series? Zelda, Metroid, and Dot Hack. But the Zelda and the Metroid games are kind of touch and go. What's your favorite fighting game? Not a big fan of fighting games. Zone of the Enders 2, I guess, but that hardly counts. Which Toho theme do you like most? Flander. What's your favorite book? Ubik by Philip K. Dick. Who is your favorite Naruto character and why, both male and female? Neji and Hinata Hyuga. Neji's awesome, and Hinata's adorable. What is your favorite and least favorite country in the world, and why? Oh... I like Canada. Nice and unoffensive, doesn't bother anybody. France, on the other hand, is full of cheese-eating surrender monkeys. I apologize to any French people for that. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Pumpkin! Seriously, it tastes like pumpkin pie on a cone! What is your favorite animal? Koalas are just adorable. What would be your top five manga? One Piece, Berserk, and Helsing. Naruto and Bleach are good too, but they're way overhyped. Which animes would you recommend? Also, which one would you tell people to avoid? If you haven't seen Gurren Lagann, stop watching this video right now and go watch it. There's also Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, which I still need to finish. Honorable mention goes to Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, and Fooly Cooly, though. I don't watch much anime, though, so I can't really point at many good or bad ones. Where did your username come from? Now, I've mentioned this in passing a few times, but I guess I'll give the whole story officially. Ages past, Ogre and I, along with another friend, were working on a story that was a blatant ripoff of Rurouni Kenshin. I named my character Nakate, which is just a name I found on some Japanese name site somewhere. Much later, I named my Final Fantasy XI character Nakate. I wanted to give her some backstory, though, so I wandered around town examining other Mithra names, and extended her full name to Naka Talili. Have you ever made a Let's Play of a game you didn't like? If so, which one? The first Adventure Island, though people enjoyed watching it. What would you like to Let's Play in the future? And any other Let's Plays? I've got a lot lined up. Games from my past, some indie games I've seen, a lot of requests. Some of them were even mentioned by the viewers in the last video. What got you into Let's Playing games? I loved Deceased Crab's work, but I didn't realize what a Let's Play was. After seeing Goron's videos, though, I thought, 
This is an event I'd like to be part of. If someone sent you their personal indie game, and wanted you to do a Let's Play of it, would you? Possibly. I'd play it some first and check if it was any good. Can you tell us who you watch so we can check them out? As I've mentioned before, Deceased Crab is my hero. Other honorable mentions go to Goron50, Quadraxis, Raokau, Chugga Conroy, and Kaushamar. Do you have any plans to do Let's Plays on the PS3? Not really. I don't own one, and there aren't really any games for it that warrant my buying the system. Ogre's thinking about getting one, though, so we'll see. How much enjoyment do you get from most of your Let's Plays? A great deal. I love seeing people that enjoy the videos, and I haven't really had any unpleasant experiences with a game yet. Have you ever played a game and started adding commentary when you weren't even recording or with someone? Not really. You have to think differently while recording. It's not as simple as recording you playing a game. From all of the Let's Plays you've done, what was the manliest character you were able to play with? Well, Ogre was playing the JoJo games, but I did get to play as Jotaro when we kinda played JoJo's Venture. Other than that, bonk. How do you decide which games get Let's Played? The game can't really be monotonous, especially if the main pull of the game is the monotonous part, like a tactical RPG. The more gameplay there is versus cutscenes, or events, the better too. You all are here to watch the game being played, after all, not watch a cutscene. Name the top three manliest characters in your Let's Plays, with manliness as defined by the third way. 1. Kamina. He's not in any of the games, but he's so manly he still counts. 2. Mayor Hagar. And 3. The Great King of All Cosmos. What program do you use to record your desktop? As I mentioned in the Let's Answer Some Questions video, Hypercam for the most part, and a Dazzle for consoles. How long have you and Ogre known each other? Eleven years. Wow, but it's been a long time. Do you and Elemental Ogre do your co-op Let's Plays in the same room or over the internet? Same room. Think you can beat the crap out of Ogre? Probably not. But somehow we just know in the distant future, through unforeseen events, we're going to end up in a knife-edge deathmatch. Are you fond of any games that stress even the masters? It depends on the game. Some games are just stupid hard and designed to frustrate. I can't stand those games. Other games are hard, but still let you make progress and you improve very quickly. These games I love. What was the first game that you played that made you think, this, this is for me? Like the one that gave you your love of games? I played a number of games early on, but the first one that really left an impact on me was Super Metroid. What was the first video game that you played? Either the first Zelda or Super Mario Bros. 3. It's hard to remember back that far. My father played them almost religiously, and I got in whenever I could. What do you think about World of Warcraft, or any other MMO? As I mentioned, I play Final Fantasy XI, and I have played World of Warcraft in the past. I enjoy non-competitive MMOs when I get the chance, but I don't really have as much free time as I used to.